It seems that although we're very close to the end, sometimes you have to break things to build. The early light on the east end revealed iron workers busy refurbishing the steel supports that had been removed from the east abutment. By afternoon, there was additional evidence of the approach of completion in the loading of wooden cribbing for departure. As an interesting aside, it was noted that reflectance testing of city signs was also taking place, and completely unrelated to the bridge work. Priestley's hard-working crew spent most of the day breaking up about the first 10 feet of the concrete approach to the east end of the bridge. Concrete waste resulting from the work would be dumped. The work progressed steadily throughout the day. Before the working day was over, the site was already being blown clear. The next steps for this area are unclear, but time will inevitably tell. But these were not the only activities of interest today. There was a significant representation from Western Mechanical on the West End. It's likely that they, with others, were making preparations for the periods in October and November that the bridge will temporarily be removed to allow the flow of marine traffic. Some structures are already evident. It will be interesting indeed to see what the next day or two hold. There is a considerable expectation the bridge will be open for traffic on the 30th of this month. The weather forecast is not favourable. We will just have to wait and see how things go. In the meantime, thanks for watching and enjoy this view of the stylish electric boat that ventured into the river this afternoon.